Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to improve your sense of smell. These are some easy smell training techniques, so let's get right into the video. If you want to smell more effectively, this is the video for you. These techniques won't necessarily allow you to gain your sense of smell back if you lost it previously, okay? There are other methods for that, but these will allow you to smell more effectively. So there are six things that I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet. Let's get into this because I've tried to do this video maybe 25 times, so I'm sick and tired of retrying it. We're gonna do this this time, six things. Number one <clears throat> is to take notice of the things that you are already smelling. So basically, there are things that you already smell. You wanna take notice of those so that you can smell them better, okay? For instance, I have toilet paper here. I'm in my basement bathroom. So there's lots of toilet paper. We're well stocked up on toilet paper. My wife and I have four young kids, so we go through toilet paper like crazy, okay? Anyways, um, toilet paper, believe it or not, fresh toilet paper has a smell to it. Smell the toilet paper, okay? Smell a fresh roll of toilet paper and you're gonna notice that it does have a smell to it. So start noticing those things that you already smell, right? A navel orange, even the skin has a smell to it, believe it or not, especially when you get close to like this part over here, like the, the navel part of it, it has a smell to it. So start noticing the things that you're already smelling, okay? Number two, <clears throat> avoid foods that cause mucus buildup. Okay, mucus buildup will interfere with your sense of smell. Your throat, mouth, ears, nose, eyes, they're all connected. So when you have a mucus buildup, it interferes with your sense of smell because it, it, it sort of um, builds up to the point where your sense of smell is gonna be hindered because of that mucus. So if there are foods or drinks that you consume that cause a buildup of mucus for you, that's a re common reaction, um, you know, then, then avoid those. For myself, when I have like cream cheese or a big glass of milk or like sour cream, anything that of that thick dairy nature, even yogurt, I get a mucus buildup. That affects my sense of smell. So avoid those foods. Number three is to smell interesting foods with your eyes open. So the next time that you have a lemon that is sliced in front of you, for instance, don't just use it for cooking or for your food, smell it with your eyes open. The next time that you cut open an orange, cut it open, smell it. A banana has a smell, smell it. A kiwi has a smell, smell it. Like any interesting food, even if it's like chicken that has been cooked and it's seasoned with a certain grouping of seasoning, you wanna smell it with your eyes open, okay? That's the next step. The next thing, number four, is to smell those same interesting foods with your eyes closed. Now, when you smell them with your eyes closed, you're gonna notice more intricacies that you didn't notice before. So more intricate details of the smells that you didn't notice before. For instance, <clears throat> I have uh, what was a sauna room over here to my right. I turned it now into like a music room, like a drum and guitar room, but it was a sauna room previously. So, and I, you know, I use a sauna at the gym. I, didn't, I don't need a sauna at home. So I just turned it into my music room because of the soundproofing. But essentially, it has cedar on the walls. So I can go in there and smell the cedar with my eyes open, and then with my eyes closed, and I'll notice different things with my eyes closed about that smell, okay? I think it's cedar. It's like sauna wood. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's cedar. It's, I'm pretty sure it's cedar, the walls, it's cedar paneled, but it's the wood that you use in saunas. I'm guessing it's cedar based on the smell. I didn't build it though, the previous homeowners built it. I just sort of took it on when we bought the house. Anyways, um, with that aside, the next thing, the fifth thing is to quiz yourself. So when you smelled a lemon, and a lime and an orange with your eyes open, and then you smell them with your eyes closed, try and quiz yourself to see which one you're smelling with when your eyes are closed. See if you notice the differences between foods that smell similar. A lot of the citrus uh, fruit fruit um, and, and vegetables, like the citrus, I don't know if they're fruit or vegetable, I guess they're fruit, right? Lemons, limes, oranges are fruit, I, I think, as far as I know. Anyways, I'm a full-time elementary school teacher, so usually I know this stuff, but in the moment when I'm making videos, the knowledge leaves me and then it sort of comes back. So yes, they are fruit, okay? Lemons, limes, and, and oranges, any type of orange, clementine, that kind of stuff, they're all fruit, okay? But they smell very similar. So smell them with your eyes open, smell them with your eyes closed, and then quiz yourself. And when you quiz yourself and you notice which is which, then you know you're on the right track to having a better sense of smell. Last but not least is number six, which is to use a humidifier. When you have humid air, your nose is gonna be more moist, and therefore your airway is gonna be more moist, and therefore you're, you're gonna be able to pick up the smells much more easily and much better. 
So use a humidifier at night when you go to bed, not on a high setting, on a very low setting. Um, and it doesn't have to be every, every time, but if you want to have a better sense of smell, maybe for a few nights use a humidifier and then you can stop using it just to heighten that sense, um, to give you that sense. Because once you get a good sense of smell, you basically can't lose it for the most part. Like once you know how to identify different smells, you can't really lose that sense unless like you get a cold or something like that. But you know, regularly, you won't just lose it because it's actually a skill, believe it or not. Um, and it's also, you're building your senses, but it's actually a skill. So anyways, that's how to improve your sense of smell. Easy smell training techniques. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.